Our next lesson will cover post-cardiac arrest care. If a patient has returned to spontaneous circulation, start post-cardiac arrest care immediately. The initial BLS and ACLS processes are meant to save a patient's life. Post-cardiac arrest care is meant to optimize ventilation and circulation, preserve heart and brain tissue, and maintain recommended blood glucose levels. Here are the steps for blood pressure support in vasopressors. Provide blood pressure support in any patient with systolic blood pressure less than 90 millimeters of mercury. Unless contraindicated, provide 1 to 2 liters of IV saline or lactated ringers for the first intervention. When blood pressure is very low, consider vasopressors. Epinephrine is the presser of choice for patients who are not in cardiac arrest. Dopamine, phenylephrine, and methoxamine are alternatives. Titrate the infusion rate to maintain the desired blood pressure. Hypothermia is the only documented intervention that improves brain recovery after cardiac arrest. It can be performed in unresponsive patients for at least 12 to 24 hours. The goal of the induced hypothermia is to reach a core body temperature between 32 and 34 degrees Celsius. It should be monitored by trained professionals. That concludes the lesson on post-cardiac arrest care. Please take this time to study the comprehensive algorithm in your provided manual.